This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. We're at the evening with Floyd Mayweather. With me I've got First State's very own Fred Syriax. Have I pronounced your surname correctly? You're very good. Impeccable. Oh, that's brilliant. Coming from you, that's brilliant. Um, Floyd Mayweather is in town. Uh, pound for pound, one of the greatest fighters ever. Um, you a big fan of uh, Floyd, Fred? Yeah, no, I like him. I mean, the beauty with him is that he just hit people, doesn't get hit, you know, and... Uh, this, this is his legacy, really. I mean, 49-0, uh, I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely, and uh, he's equal with uh, Rocky Marciano. The big question is, will he come back? Will he uh, want to beat that record? Do you believe he'll come back? I'd love for him to come back and fight me, because I think I could take him on. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> incredible. Do you know what? When he's doing his speech, what you should do is you should just run on, Fred, and uh, take your chances, see what happens. Yeah, I might just do that. You watch. <laughs> Uh, absolutely. Um, listen, I've got, I've got to mention my, my partner because she's a, a big, big, big fan of uh, First Date. She, she forces me to watch it, and then when I'm sat there watching it, I kind of, I'm not forced anymore, if that understands. But uh, you must have had great reception uh, since that program's aired on TV. Yeah, no, it's great, you know, because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's all about uh, the values of the program and how good it is. And people like it because it's fundamentally very good. And, and, and what you want to see is people getting on. And you, when you see that, everybody is the same. We all have the same basic uh, need and, and want. And when you see people, you know, finding love, everybody loves that. Absolutely. And, I mean, you come out with some great quotes yourself. And, uh, you know, does it come from the mind? Is it something you study and read? Or where does it come from? I read a lot um, and, you know, uh, it just, just directs the way I think and the way I live my life. And uh, I always think about uh, the importance of being good and being bad. And that's, that's, that's driving the way I am and, and the way I want to be uh, perceived and the way I want to be remembered. That's a great answer. Um, British boxing at the moment is thriving. It's a, there's a lot of uh, good fighters. Who catches your eye at the moment on the British scene? Uh, Leon McKenzie. Uh, I think he had a great fight at the weekend, you know, 43 seconds, knocked the guy out. Um, I think that it was uh, not a question of misjudging the count. I think he was just too strong, too big, and he would have just... I think it's good that he was stopped straight away because he was just too big and too strong for the guy. And I think he's going to be the next British uh, champion. Yeah, definitely will. And I trained with his dad. Uh, Clinton McKenzie is a great friend of mine, and I just love the family. They are a great friend, and it's just great to see father and son uh, being together like that and succeeding together. I love it. Do you know, hello, mate. I'm just in the middle of something. Sorry. This is what happens. Thank you. Sorry, mate. Um, do you know what? Of all the names, I'm a good friend of Leon McKenzie's myself, and uh, of all the names, I didn't expect you to say Leon McKenzie, but uh, he did, had a great first round win the other day. I was there, and uh, yeah, he could, he could very well go on to become British champion. No, he will be the British champion. He's strong, he's determined. He come into this, this ring, he was just so psyched up. And he's just, um, he's, he wants it. He wants it so badly, so much. He's training so hard. I see him in the gym. He's just a machine. So, Fred, have you ever, you've, I know you're a keen interest or have a keen interest in boxing. Have you taken part in your, in your life before? Yeah, no, I've taken part in boxing. I train regularly with uh, uh, training, you know, I, I, I spar. I love boxing. It's just, uh, it's a shame I'm getting old now because I'm 44 and I'm just on the descent. But... I still fancy myself a world champion. I love boxing. I spend hours watching old fights um, and just, just watching them and dissecting them and thinking about what could have been, you know, like the, uh, the rumble in the jungle. You know, I think there's two or three punches that were not throws in, in, thrown in this fight when uh, uh, Foreman went down. You know, he could have, Ali could have hit him once or twice, maybe three times before he went down. He didn't do it. I don't understand why. I, I'd love to know. I'd love to know. Do you know the answer? I don't know the answer, but um, I'm very impressed by with your boxing knowledge, to be honest. But who, who would you say was your greatest ever all-time fighter that you know throughout the years uh, that you've most appreciated? I like Sugar Ray Leonard. Um, I like Mohamed Ali. Uh, Sugar Ray Robinson. Um, who else do I like? Uh, um, Manuel de Piedra. Um, what's his name? Ah. Oh. Uh, Panamian, what's the name? What's his name? Duran. Duran. I love Duran. I mean, I love his book. I mean, Duran is just a madman. I mean, he, he, you see how many fights he had, 120 fights or something like that. Just nuts. You know, how can you go on for so long? Did you ever hear the, the rumor about Roberto Duran that he knocked a horse out? Yeah, he did. Yeah, no, he was very young. He was supposed to be like 14 or 15, you know, and it was kind of a, a bet in a pub or something like that, and he just hit the horse. We don't know if it's true, but... Um, 
probably is because he could knock people out there's no tomorrow you know the fight with Ian Barclay have you watched that oh absolutely my god what a fight I mean poor Ian the Barclay. blade Aaron the blade Barclay yeah no no he was just crazy I mean really what a fight Absolutely. So, um, Fred, what I want to know is now, when can me and my Mrs. Shirley, when can we come to your restaurant? It's not going to be our first date, but, you know, we, we'd like to come. Anytime. You know, uh, my restaurant is on top of the London Little Park Lane. It's called Galvina Windows. Just come anytime. It's the most romantic place. And if your wife, if you take your wife there, she's going to love it. You're going to be the, the man of the year. Absolutely. She's going to be the man of the year when she watches this interview. Listen, sorry to take you away from your dinner. Um, but thank you very much for giving IFL TV a little bit of your time and uh, best of luck with the show. Like I said, everyone watches it and uh, good to uh, learn a little bit about you and know that you, you're a big boxing fan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Produced in association with CombatAndStrength.com.